All right, let's go. Let's take the last question for this uh, trigonometric equation. Okay. Now the question says solve the equation three sec square x is equal to two tan x plus four is equal to zero. Three sec square x is equal to two tan x plus four is equal to zero. Now let's solve this equation. Okay. Now we discover that in our Pythagorean uh, identity, where we say sine square x plus cos square x is equal to one. So in one of those formula there, we have the one we say that one plus tan square x is equal to sec square x. Okay. So We'll just replace sec square x with what? 1 plus tan square x. Okay? Now, we are going to have 3, your upper bracket, 1 plus tan square x equal to 2 tan x plus 4 equal to zero. You get it? Now we have three in bracket one plus tan square x. You know this one plus tan square x is the same as sec square x. Okay? Now we say equal to two tan x plus four equal to zero. You get it? Yeah. Now let's go. We have three times one. It will give you three. Then three times Times square x. We are opening the bracket, okay? So we have 3 times square x. Now, let's take uh, the values in the other side to this side. Now, 2 times x coming to this side, it will be minus 2 times x. And then 4 coming, it will be minus 4 equal to 0. Okay? Now, let's go. Let's rearrange this very well. 3 minus 4, it will give you minus 1, okay? Now, let's go. We have 3 times square x minus 2 times x minus 1. Hope you know this minus 1. This minus 1 is 3 minus 4, okay? That is minus 1. It's equal to 0. So, we will have 3 times square x minus 2 times x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, let's uh, change this uh, tan x and call it another thing. Now, let's go. We say let tan x equal to p. So, we have 3p square minus 2p minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, from here... We factorize. So in our factorization, we ask ourselves a question. Now, well, before that question, we take the coefficient of p squared, which is 3, multiply by our c, which is minus 1. So 3 times minus 1, it will give you minus 3. Okay? Now, here, we ask ourselves a question. We say, what are the two numbers that when you add them together, it will give you minus 2? The way you multiply them, it will give you minus 3. Two numbers, when you add them together, it will give you minus 2. When you multiply them, it will give you minus 3. Alright, the two numbers are 1 and 3. When you say 1 minus 3, it will give you minus 2. And then when you say 1 times minus 3, it will give you minus 3. Okay? That is it. Now, let's go. We are going to have... 3p square plus p minus 3p minus 1 equal to 0. Okay? Now, but that is to say when you say p minus 3p, it will give you the above minus 2p. Okay? Now, let's go. We have uh, 3p square plus p minus 3p minus 1 equal to 0. Okay? From here, let's group them 2 by 2. Now we have 3p squared plus p in bracket minus 3p 
minus 1 in bracket equal to 0. Okay, here, let's factor out. 3p plus p, what do they have in common? They have p. So factor out p in 3p squared. What will be remaining is 3p, okay? Then plus factor out p in p, what will be remaining is 1. So that when you say p times 3p, it will give you 3p squared. Then when you say p times 1, it will give you p, okay? Now, let's go to the second. We have 3p minus 1, okay? Now, here, let's see what they have in common. And then factor it out. They have 1 minus 1 in common. So when you bring out minus 1 in 3p, what will be remaining is 3p. And when you remove minus 1 in minus 1, what will be remaining is plus 1. So that when you say minus 1 times 3p, it will give you minus 3p. Then minus 1 times plus 1, it will give you minus 1. Okay? Yes, that is it. Now let's go. They are all equal to 0. Now, let's go. We have P minus 1. That is the values outside the bracket P and then minus 1. We take them together. We have P minus 1. And then one of the values in the bracket, which is 3P plus 1, equal to 0. Then we have P minus 1 is equal to 0 or 3P plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here, we say P. We take minus 1 to the other side to be P is equal to 1 or 3p will take uh, plus 1 to the other side to give you minus 1. We are looking for p, not 3p. So we divide both sides by 3p. So we have 3p divided by 3 is equal to minus 1 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 will give you 1. 1 times p will give you p. Then we have p is equal to 1 minus 1 all over 3. Now, boy, you remember that what we are just solving for is for can x okay now and the values we just obtained is for tan x but we just name it to be what p so we have tan x is equal to one or tan x is equal to minus one all over three okay now we are looking for x not tan x okay so we have x is equal to tan inverse of one Please, if you don't know how we get this tan inverse, please watch the Fox tutorial on this trigonometric equation. You understand better, okay? Now, let's go. We say x is equal to tan inverse of 1 or x is equal to tan inverse of minus 1 all over 3. Okay, let's go. x is equal to tan inverse of 1 is equal to 45 degree or x is equal to tan inverse of minus 1 all over 3 is minus 18.43 degree. All right, yes, we have finally solved the equation that say 3 sec square x minus, sorry, we say 3 sec square x equal to 2 tan x plus 4 equal to 0. So the solution to this say x is equal to 45 degree or x is equal to minus 18.43 degree. All right, yes. Thank you very much. Please keep practicing, keep watching, and then if you have not subscribed, subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.